Let's rise up on our feet, please. As we close our eyes, I raise our two hands to the Lord and sing this song loud and clear. Holy Spirit, be my comforter. Holy Spirit, take control. Hallelujah, as I walk along the way. The way is now. Oh, yes, Holy Spirit, be my. Sing it again loud and clear. Holy Spirit, be my comforter. Holy Spirit, take control. Take control, hallelujah, as I along the way, the way is now, oh yes, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, move me now. Hallelujah, amen. My life, all again. Oh, yes, sweet. Oh, Blessed Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, oh yes, move me now. Hallelujah, me, my life, holy again. Oh yes, I Fullness of that golden bodily dwelleth in the Lord. The fullness of that golden bodily dwelleth in the Lord. The fullness of that golden bodily dwelleth in the Lord. Oh, I am complete. Oh, yes, complete. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Oh yes, oh yes, complete, hallelujah, complete, send that fire, the Holy Ghost fire, send the fire, send that fire again, the Holy Ghost fire, send the fire, Send the fire! Send the fire! Fire burning in my soul. Holy Ghost on fire. Holy Ghost on fire. Mighty Ghost on fire. Fire burning in my soul. Fire burning in my soul. Fire burning in my soul. Holy Ghost on fire. Holy Ghost on fire. Fenty Ghost on fire. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. I'm burning in my soul. Yes, yes, It's not my works of righteousness, but by His grace alone. It's not my works of righteousness, but by His grace alone. It's not my works of righteousness, but by His grace alone. Oh, I am complete. Oh, it's complete. Hallelujah. Huh? Complete. 
Praise. Praise. Hallelujah. Raise up your right hand to the heavens now. So, my Father. Let my heavens open today. By fire. Can I hear you saying that loud and clear? Shout it at the top of your voice. In the name of Jesus, declare your heaven open loud. In the name of Jesus, let my heavens open today by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you for a time like this. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because your power is the greatest power. And thank you, Lord, because I know that there is no one here this morning who came here by chance. And all those who are here this morning, they are here by divine appointment. Therefore, I pray, Lord, that as many people as are gathered here this morning, visit them. 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 Receive a divine visitation. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Louder, amen. Let's have a God bless you. This morning we're having a prophetic service. Already Ezekiel 37 has been read to us. And we're all ready together. We're having a prophetic meeting this morning. Meaning that words will come to your life from heaven. It is now your turn to catch it, possess it, and make it a living reality in your own situation. For the next few minutes, I want you to pay close attention to what we're going to say here. 30 prophetic arrows from heaven. 30 prophetic arrows from heaven. And I know I, I will possess all the 30. I'm making a personal confession. I will process all the 30 prophetic arrows from heaven. Let's look at three scriptures very quickly. 30 prophetic arrows from heaven. These prophecies are for people here this morning. The ball is now in your court to practice what the Bible says. As from the day of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence. And the violent take it by force. So it's left for you to take it by force or to decide to be a spiritual gentleman. Unfortunately, in the kingdom of heaven, violence is allowed and there is no room for the gentleman. In Psalm 8, verse 2. Psalm 8, verse 2. Thank you, Jesus. Psalm 8, verse 2. I say, woman in this service that has been written off by the enemy. Even your in-laws are already laughing at you. By next Sunday, your story will have changed. In the name of Jesus. Psalm 8 verse 2. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings, as thou ordained strength because of thine enemies, that thou mightest steal the enemy and the avenger. Have you found that scripture? Can we read it together loud and clear? Did he say out of the leg? Out of the eyes? Out of the nose? What did he say? Out of where? The mouth out of the mouth of babes 
those ones that are not regarded as anything, from their mouth, God will ordain strength. And that strength will silence the avenger and the enemy. Raise one hand to the heavenlies. Say, sharp arrows of God. Shout it loud and clear. Enter into my mouth now. Enter into my mouth. Enter into my mouth now. Enter into my mouth now. That's right. That's right. In Jesus' name we pray. It says, out of the mouth of babes and sucklings, those who are regarded as being powerless and who know nothing, God will use their mouth to ordain strength. They will now speak words that will steal the enemy and silence the avengers. Where is the mouth here this morning that will steal the enemy and the avenger? Let that mouth shout hallelujah. In Proverbs chapter 18, Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21. Proverbs 18, 21. Death and what? Life. Are in the power of where? The tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. That is, your mouth has a double barrel power. And it can do and undo for you. Now back to the Ezekiel that was read to us this morning. Ezekiel chapter 37. Ezekiel chapter 37. That man over there that was chained down to a tree in the village. Hear the word of the Lord. Get out from that bondage now in the name of Jesus. Get out. Get out. Get out of that bondage in the name of Jesus. That's right. Ezekiel 37. Let's read from verse 1. So the hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones. They were bones. No flesh again. Bones. Dead. Long time ago. Just bones. People have given up on them. And it caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O oh Lord God, thou knowest. Again he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones, and say unto them, Use your mouth. Talk to them. Say unto them, Thus say the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause bread to enter into you, and ye shall live. Verse 7. So I prophesy. Can you say that loud and clear? As I was commanded. And as I prophesied, there was a noise. And behold, a shaking. And the bones came together, bone to bone. Which, what instrument did the prophet prophesy? His mouth. His mouth. Your mouth is the compass of your life. Your mouth is the engine room of your life. Your mouth is the control room of your life. Your mouth is the pilot of your aircraft. Your mouth is the driver of your car. Your mouth is the proclaimer of your breakthrough. Your mouth is the magnet of your favor. Your mouth is the instrument of your holy cry. Your mouth is the instrument of your strength. Your mouth is the expert's way to possess your possession. Use that mouth this morning as these 30 prophetic arrows will come to you so that none shall jump over your head or jump under you. Say, I receive them in the name of Jesus. Shout it like thunder. Shout it like thunder. The Bible says, believe his prophet and you shall prosper. A closed mouth is a closed destiny. Aye. If blind Bartimaeus had kept quiet or decided to be a gentleman that day, he would have died a blind man. Prophecy. What is a prophecy? A prophecy is a forecast. A prophecy is a, is a message from God signifying the revealed intention and purposes of God. What is a prophecy? A prophecy is a spiritual burden that the Lord will now lift and make 
to become a testimony. What is a prophecy? A prophecy is a pronouncement made by a prophet of God. What is a prophecy? A prophecy is foretelling of future events. What is a prophecy? A prophecy is an advanced knowledge of that which is to take place in the future. What is a prophecy? A prophecy is winning before the war. You've won the war before the war even started, which was what David did. All that David did to Goliath was to prophesy against him. So you too can prophesy against your Goliath. And you will prophesy against your Goliath this morning. And the Goliath shall fall down and die. Let your amen roar like thunder. David prophesied to Goliath. So you come unto me in the name of your God. So but I come unto you in the name of the Lord of us whom you have defied. The battle has not started. David has not even thrown any stone. He was still talking to him. He said, today, I will bring your head down. And I will cut it off from your head. David said it to him. A, a, a prophecy about a war that has not started. So a prophecy is winning before the war. What is a prophecy? A prophecy is an inspired utterance from God's mouthpiece. An inspired utterance from God's mouthpiece. What is a prophecy? It's a divinely inspired revelation. What is a prophecy? It is a promise about the future. This is why I prophesy upon your life here this morning that whether it is convenient for the enemy or not, whether they like it or not, you will move forward. In the name of Jesus. You will move. You will move. You will move. You will move. Whether the enemy likes it or not, receive that power now. In the name of Jesus. What is a prophecy? A prophecy is speaking the inspired word of God. The inspired word of God. What is a prophecy? A prophecy is a revelation of the mysteries of God. It is a revelation of the mysteries of God. It is also a revelation of the knowledge of the Lord. What is a prophecy? A prophecy is history in reverse. History in reverse. I now go into these 30 prophecies. Your reaction towards them, the way you forcefully possess them, determines a lot for you. As from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violent take it by force. Number one, I have a word for somebody here. The Lord said, I should tell you that your setback will be your comeback. In the name of Jesus. Your setback will be your comeback in the name of Jesus. That's prophecy number one. I don't know how many people have received that one. If you have let your email run like thunder. Prophecy number two. The Lord said, I should tell somebody here that the power behind your problem will be buried alive. <laughs> Let your amen be roar like thunder. <laughs> Let your amen roar like thunder in the name of Jesus. Amen. That was a short prayer I prayed on the phone. The other time, for an urgent text that just came into my phone. He said, if this is the phone of Geo Martin of Fire, please pray right now because he said, she, she said her daughter, three years old, had just been kidnapped. And the kidnappers are asking for 10 million naira. So when I saw the text, I replied, I said, where are you? She texted me back. <laughs> she said, Calabar. I said, wow, I thought you were in Lagos. So let's pray. Short prayer. Power behind this problem. I'll be buried alive. That was around 9 a.m. in the morning. By 9 p.m., she sent another text. Said, Yo, thank God. So they put my daughter in a vehicle, a passenger's vehicle, and they sent a vehicle to our town. And the little girl of three just arrived at the motor park, not knowing 
where she was going. But the bottom line was that she was set free. I pray again and I prophesy that every power behind your problem shall be buried alive. They 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 shall be buried alive. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Number three, I have a word for somebody here too. The Lord said, I should tell you that you will move from adversity to advancement. You move from that adversity to advancement. In the name of Jesus. The fourth word for somebody here today. The Lord said, I should tell you that you will move from mistakes to miracles. You move from mistake to miracles. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Something is happening over there. I remember the case of that sister. She had made a terrible mistake. And the court was ready to take her daughter from her. She found her way to one of her crusades in London. And everything we were saying there, she caught something there and held it. And what she caught that day was that in the dictionary of the Almighty, the word impossibility does not exist. That's what she held on to. And she arrived in court that morning. She, she put all her savings together to get the best lawyer she could afford to get. And this lawyer, very expensive, very intelligent, told her that you can only rely on luck. That you, you, there is no case. You've lost the case. It's a bad case that you, you are going to lose your daughter. Let's see you can do about this. When she came to that crusade, held on to that word in the dictionary of the Almighty. The word impossibility does not exist. That's what she was saying as she got to the court. But when the judge came and they called the case, the judge did not even allow a lawyer to talk. Neither did the judge allow the government lawyer to talk. The judge was asking questions. I was answering the question himself. He asked the first one, he answered. Yeah. Said, Take your daughter and go away. <laughs> Throughout the case. That's why I know that any impossibility facing your life shall scatter in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I have a fifth word for somebody here this morning. I don't know who that person is. But the Lord said, I should tell you that the bigger your test and trials, the bigger your testimony. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I have a sixth one for somebody here this morning. I wonder who the person is. The Lord said, I should tell you that you may lose battles, but you will win the war. You will win the war in the name of Jesus. I have a seventh word for somebody here this morning. The lesson I should tell you that it will never be late for you to become what he wants you to become. If you are the person, let your amen be loud and clear. Amen. I have a, an eight word for somebody here this morning. I don't know the persons. They may not know you now. But the Lord said I should tell you that the world has not had the last about you. The best is yet to come. In the name of Jesus. The night prophecy. The Lord said I should tell somebody here that though your beginning is small, your later end shall greatly increase. In the name of Jesus. It turns well for somebody here. The Lord said, right now you are afraid of certain things. But the Lord said, I should tell you that you are God's project. 
And God does not make anyone a failure. Eleven prophecy. The Lord said, I should tell somebody here that your celebration is coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. In the name of Jesus. If that prophecy for you, let your amen be like thunder. Number 12. This word is for somebody here this morning. The Lord said, I should tell you that you will become stronger than all your adversaries. Become stronger than all of them. They shall pursue you. They shall not find you. Thank you, Jesus. Number 13. I see somebody who has received everything. Number 13. The Lord said I should tell you that the stones the enemies are throwing at you now shall be your stepping stones to victory. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. Professor number 14. The Lord said I should tell somebody here that you will sing your song and dance your dance. That's right. In the name of Jesus. 15. The Lord said I should tell somebody here that your destiny shall shine with color and grace. With color and grace. Something is happening here this morning. Prophecy number 16. The Lord said I should tell somebody. I don't know who the person is. The Lord said the best effort of your stubborn enemies shall end up in painful failure. Their best efforts shall be painful failure. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Prophecy number 17. The Lord said I should tell somebody here that all your past disappointments shall be converted to divine appointments in the name of Jesus. Amen. Number 18 now. The Lord said I should tell somebody that there shall be divine revolution in your life. We shall bring you elevation. Thank you, Jesus. Prophecy number 19. The Lord said I should tell somebody here that heaven will break down his own policemen. To arrest your limitations. Your limitations shall be arrested. They shall be arrested. They shall be arrested. They shall be arrested. In the name of Jesus. 20. The Lord said, I should tell somebody here. That this cloud of darkness that are gathering around you. Shall scatter unto desolation. They shall scatter unto desolation. In the name of Jesus. They shall scatter to the solution in the name of Jesus. Prophecy number 21. The Lord said, I should tell somebody. He says, My thunder shall frighten your enemies to surrender. That's right. Frighten your enemies to surrender. In the name of Jesus. Prophecy number 22. The Lord said, I should tell somebody here that those powers assigned to enjoy your reputation shall die suddenly. That's right. Amen. Amen. Prophecy number 23. The Lord said I should tell somebody here that right now you are struggling but that you shall have sweatless victory. That's right. That's 23. Prophecy number 24. Somebody here. The Lord said, I should tell that person. God said, I will fight for you and station you as a spectator. You just be a spectator. Prophecy number 25. The Lord said, I should tell somebody here that you shall carry a fresh perfume of favor. 
a fresh perfume of favor. Thank you, Jesus. 26. The Lord said, I should tell somebody here that you shall receive power to rule in the midst of your enemies. That's right. You will rule in their midst. Whether it's convenient for them or not. Prophecy 27. The Lord said, I should tell somebody here that you will break out of every limitation. Break out of it. Thank you, Jesus. Prophecy number 28. The Lord said, I should tell somebody here that you will have the last laugh over your enemies. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. You will have that last laugh. Because evil has met its match. The table will be turned against all the evil doers. Prophecy 29. The Lord said I should test somebody. I don't know who the person is. These words are very harsh. He said your unrepentant enemies will experience a bitter end. That's right. In the name of Jesus. Prophecy number 30. The last one. Blessed as you tell somebody here that your enemies shall die in your place. That you shall not die but live to declare the works of God. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Rise up on your feet. That's the end of the prophecy. The ball is now in your court. The ball is now in your court. As from the days of John the Baptist. Until now. The kingdom of heaven suffered violence. And the violent take them by force. You will roar like thunder. Say, so I receive death by fire in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to declare. Open your mouth and declare it. Receive them by fire in the name of Jesus. Receive them, 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 receive them. Come to my supper here today. That's right. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Many things are happening here this morning. Many things are happening here this morning. That's right. That's right. All the problems that were brought here, the hand of God is eliminating those problems. Whatever it is, maybe it's your health situation, your business situation, whatever it is, the hand of the Lord is evacuating them from your life. You will not shout this with thunder and with fire. Use your mouth, your instrument. The Lord told Ezekiel, Son of man, can these bones live? He said, Oh Lord, you know. Okay, you open your mouth and begin to prophesy. And it began the prophecy. Oh, you bones hear the word of the Lord. The same Ezekiel prophesied to the wind later. You will shout this like fire and like thunder. Dry bones in my life. Hear the word of the Lord. Arise. Live. 
Can I hear the sisters shouting that? Brothers, shout it louder than the sisters. Everybody together now. Oh, yes. Aha. Aha. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to prophesy. Receive the touch of the power of God. Receive that touch. Receive that touch. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Silence. Father, I stand there as a servant. And I declare unto everyone standing here this day, any organ in anybody's body that is not working properly, or that the enemy wants to kill, let the power of God fall upon such people now. In the name of Jesus, that organ in the body, receive the resurrection power. Of the Lord Jesus Christ. Receive the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Receive it. 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 In the name of Jesus. Aha. It's happening. Your miracle shall shock your doctors. Aha. As many people as are here, oh Lord, and they have any evil mark on their bodies that is creating a ladder of attack by the enemy. Fire of God! Melt away the evil mark now! In the name of Jesus, receive the fire, 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 receive the fire! In the name of Jesus. Ah, ah, that's wonderful. Thank you, Jesus. As many people as believe that they have received those prophetic arrows from heaven, I want you to celebrate your victory in this song I want you to sing now. Sing it violently, too. He's the king. Of King is the Lord of Lord is the is Jesus 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 then he has you have is He's a king He's a king of King is the Lord Hallelujah Jesus Jesus Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, yes, yeah. he has you. He is, he is the king. He is the king of kings. He is the Lord of Lord. Yes, yes, yeah. he has you. He is the king. He is the king. Of kings, of Lord Jesus, 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 yeah. He is the he is the king, he is the king. Ah, hallelujah, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, yeah, he has you. Uh, uh, he, oh, he's a king, he's a king. Of, of king, he's, a, he's the Lord. Hallelujah, he's the Jesus, 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 
Jesus. J E S U S. Shout hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. A sevenfold amen. Say this after me. My hands are blessed with the blessings of God. Anything I touch, anywhere I go, my hands are blessed with the blessings of God. We're going to sing it while you stretch your hands towards the heavenlies. My hands are blessed. With the blessings of God, my hands are blessed. With the blessings of the Lord, anything I touch, anywhere I go, my hands are blessed. With the blessings of God. Sing it again. My hands are blessed. With the blessings of God. My hands are blessed. With the blessings of the Lord. Anything I touch, anything I Anywhere I go, anywhere I go, my hands are blessed in the blessings of the Lord, of the Lord. Let us share the grace in fellowship.